Welcome to this Pride of Dakota feature. The tradition of eating biscotti with your coffee and tea dates back to the times of the Romans. What most people don't realize is that biscotti is not just for tea time anymore and can be enjoyed in so many other ways. In this feature, we'll talk to Pride of Dakota member Buffalo Gal's Bakery and Country Store about her biscotti product not only fits all parts of the meal, but is conveniently sized as well. Buffalo Gals Bakery and Country Store was formed by Katie Cashin in 2010 in Regan, North Dakota. Buffalo Gals is a specialty bakery featuring biscotti and cookies. Joining us is owner Katie Cashin. Katie, welcome. Thanks for having me, Scott. So let's talk about the different uses for biscotti because I have just always assumed that biscotti was just like a snack for tea time or coffee time because that's where you see it most often is in the coffee shops. Biscotti actually dates back to the Roman legionnaires. They took it really? out with them the way the cowboys used hardtack or the way they came across on the ships with it. Um, you know, it uh, holds well. It doesn't go bad on you. Sure. Um, and the coffee or teas were actually used to soften it up, is, is why you usually see it dunked. Um, but many people, they use it as an accompaniment with wine, with soups, with gravies. They oh, stick wow. it in ice cream. You know, what is the consistency of biscotti? It's not quite a cookie and it's not quite bread, right? Um, I mean, it is technically a twice baked bread. Okay. Um, ours is a little bit softer. It's made with an old family recipe that's nearly 100 years old. Wow. And, uh, and so ours is a little bit softer, but it still dunks really well and it won't fall apart on you. You also take into consideration the size of the product as well, too, because most biscotti you see are about the size of your arm. Absolutely. Traditionally, biscotti is six to eight inches long. Yep. And uh, we make ours in a shorter two pack. That way you can have one for now, one for later. Or if you have little hands that need to hold them, like you got little kids. Sure. There you go. Less messy. And, and if you feel like eating six, six to eight inches of biscotti, you can have both you, pieces at the same could. time. <laughs> Fantastic. So what other products do you carry then at Buffalo Gals Bakery? Um, well, we also have the cookies that we make, like the cowboy cookies and the white buffalo. And in the country store, we have the handbags that are made with repurposed coffee bags from Mojo Roast Coffee Yep, that I get. And we've also got the Wild West Angel Wings for little kids. What are Wild aprons. West Angel Wings? They are tie-on angel wings with oh, fringe. God. And they come in like Western prints. Fantastic. And there's um, no wires, no anything. They just tie them on. They can run and play all day and use their imagination. And when they're done, they can use it like a pillow for a nap. So if someone wants to learn more about your products or purchase one of your products, what is the best way to get a hold of you? Probably by email. They okay. can go right to the website or they can email me directly at sales at buffalogalsbakery.com. Okay. And then your website? Um, www.buffalogalsbakery.com. And then you're also on Facebook and Twitter as well, too, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Or they can give me a jingle at 333-8402. And what is your Facebook uh, address? Um, Buffalo Gals Bakery. Okay, and then on Twitter you are at? Buffalo Gals Bake. Ba Buffalo Gals Bake. Wonderful. Well, it is a delicious product and uh, best cookies in the world. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us here today. Great. Thanks, Scott. For more information on this Pride of Dakota featured member, or to find other feature podcast episodes, visit our website at prideofdakota.com or join the conversation at facebook.com slash prideofdakota.